ஹரி ஓம் சைராம் வணக்கம் நமஸ்கார் வந்தனம் அஸ்லாம் வாலிக்கும் அண்ட் சத் ஸ்ரீ அகால் வெல்கம் டு அனதர் செஷன் ஆஃப் ரிஃப்ளெக்ஷன்ஸ் இன் டுடே வி ஆர் எக்ஸ்ப்ளோரிங் த வேர்ட் டாபிக் ஓர் எக்ஸ்பிரஷன் கோல்ட் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன்ஸ் all of you must have read the great book you know the great expectations at some point in time but this is slightly different so uh you know it's got a spiritual tweak to it so uh, let let me start in my usual way of defining it like what does uh, expectation mean from a very plain or natural sense of the word the act of being in a position of knowing something is going to happen expecting something to happen in anticipation of this is what is going to happen and this will surely happen and whether you know it happens or not is a different thing but you are so sure that it's going to happen so that expectations i expect this i would not expect anything other than this you know it is expected that you know so those, those kind of things so is believing or a firm stance that something is going to happen uh for sure right um an example may be an expectation is a belief that you will be getting promoted at your place of work you know so sure because you know you're so close with the uh, you know director and you know he's hinted many times that you know don't worry you know you will get what you're supposed to get at the time you're supposed to get you know you are so sure of that and then boom it happens so it doesn't happen right so expectations uh my question is is it right for us who are treading the path of spirituality to have expectations in the first place right i mean should we expect because if we say he the one is omnipresent omnipotent and omniscient and he is the doer i am merely a prop you know a lily dancing to the winds of change the winds of time i have no control over the wind but he has so my question is it right for any one of us to have expectations when we live and we speak about this expression saying let his will prevail his will be done even the christianity prayer right our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy will be done now if we are saying thy will be done how are we in a position to expect anything you see the dilemma there so the question is if you want to uh, you know obviously grow spiritually then is it right for you to be expecting anything at any point in time in your life right so there was this very old man who um, obviously was living in the streets and all that and in the summer months he is fine but in the winter months because he doesn't have clothes he wears a very thin uh, cloth uh and you know he 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 he's he's just standing um in 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 a little hut or just outside not his own you know he takes shelter in in different places now one day he went outside the king's palace you know he was in that area so he was waiting outside the gate you know the the the, the palace guard allowed this man to stay and the king from inside he observed this guy and he was wondering why what is this fellow doing so he came out and he met this old man and he said but why are you waiting here you're not a guard you know what what is the problem you know so the man obviously told him a story he said look i i'm just a beggar you know i've survived and the king says you have survived if you seem to only have a cloth around you and it's a uh, winter month you know so so you know what and the king said after talking to him he said okay don't worry i will go and uh, send some clothes for you you just wait here right don't worry i'll go and send some clothes so the king went inside the moment he went inside there were people waiting to see the king people waiting to talk to him and all of that right so the king was so busy uh dealing with all his palace affairs that he forgot about this 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 old man but the king meant well but sometimes you know things take over um and of course you you forget what you're supposed to do so the king was doing all his work and then he forgot about the old man right? then of course he went to bed next morning he had heard a commotion and then when he found out they said there was an old man waiting outside uh 
and obviously in the cold winter he he couldn't uh, survive and then he, he he passed on um now why whose fault do you think this is is it the old man's fault or is it the king's fault you see the old man the moment the king told him something all this time he had survived on his own will power on his own strength on his own dependence on himself now the moment he met the king he thought the king is going to change everything for him right so the old man changed from being independent to becoming dependent because of the expectation that he is going to receive all this goodness and gifts from the king of course the king meant well the focus here is not the king the focus here is the attitude right remember i always say attitude must have an altitude then only you have the aptitude for growth attitude altitude aptitude for spiritual growth anyway so the moral is expectation from others can become the real cause of weakness if your expectations are not met therefore one should learn to live on one's own strength because god has given every single human person on earth some amount of strength to live his or her life god is the only one who will be there for you you know was is and will always be right the expectation hurts a lot when it is not fulfilled when you don't expect then every moment is a surprise and what does surprise give you surprise gives you happiness and it is happiness that counts very simple solution expectation hurts a lot when you don't get the results that you expect but you know you are not in control but yet you expect so you don't get the results you suffer so many consequences but when you stop expecting everything becomes like a surprise isn't it and what does surprise give you you know when you get a surprise you're happy isn't it so surprise brings happiness and it is this happiness that matters not anything else Swami well, says, "No expectation, no disappointment." <laughs> you see, not everything will go as long as as you expect in your life. Not everything will go the way you expect it to go in your life. Therefore, you need to drop these expectations and just go with the flow of life. It's what the Taoists Taoists call the chi, the chi of life. You know. remove expectations from people and you'll remove their power to hurt you remember that remove your expectations you will remove you know your ability to hurt others until i see you next thursday stay blessed mm-hmm.